Jim in Lockport, Illinois, are on the air with Senator Sanders. Uh, good afternoon, Tom. Good afternoon, Senator Sanders. Jim. Uh, last Thursday, you uh, gave a great presentation on the Senate floor after the uh, Keystone vote on income inequality. And you had a nice chart up there that showed that the the income inequality started under the Reagan administration and continued to grow. Now we hear Republicans, they're talking about uh, in income inequality. And they have the nerve to blame our president on that. Yet they still want to give tax breaks to the rich, like the Koch brothers, who say they want to spend $900 million on buying our next election. And to me, that they should be ashamed because uh, they can't afford to pay more So, tax Jim, your money. question? Uh, my, my, my question is this. Isn't, now that the Republicans are talking about income inequality, isn't that an indictment of trickle-down economics? Yes, it is, Jim. Absolutely. <clears throat> and the chart that I had, and maybe at some point, Tom, I'll bring that chart uh, down here. We can put it on the screen. was very interesting. What Jim was talking about is there's a chart out there that showed that going way back to the late 40s, the 50s, what type of who benefited and, and, and who received the most income uh, during economic recoveries. So when you had a recovery back in the 40s and 50s, the overwhelming beneficiaries of that recovery were the bottom 90% of the people. That's where the money went. And what you see as a result of trickle-down economics is from 1982 to the present, Increasingly, the beneficiaries of economic recovery are the top 1%. And right now, you are seeing the most extreme numbers where virtually all of the benefits are going to the top 1%. So what I was talking about is my view that trickle-down economic theory, which says that to create jobs, we need to give tax breaks to the rich and large corporations. We need more deregulation just the way we deregulated Wall Street, that makes no sense at all if you're talking about the needs of the middle class and working families. So trickle-down economics is totally discredited. It's not just the theory. In reality, it has failed. We need an alternative approach. And the point that I made on the floor is, Tom, we hear a whole lot of discussion about the so-called job creators. That's what the Republicans talk about. Well, you know who the job creators are? The job creators are the people who are listening to this program. The job creators are the middle class and working class of this country who every day go out and they buy products and they buy services. And the reality is that if working families do not have disposable income to go out and purchase, then companies can't create jobs. You could have the smartest CEO in the world but that CEO can't sell a product if people do not have the money to buy that product. 70% of our economy is based on consumer consumption. Wall Street, Journal, Wall Street Journal just the other day had an interesting article. and They're talking about a two-tier economy. For the rich, for the companies that sell to the rich, they're doing really well. For companies that sell to the middle class, they're in a lot of trouble because the middle class doesn't have the money to buy what it needs.